distinguished heads of state and government, ministers, distinguished delegates. We gather here in New York to discuss a very important subject. The oil century, the 20th century, has come to a close. A new era is dawning, an era of new technologies and new commitment to environment. The effects of global warming are felt. They are felt everywhere and we are now more than ever aware of the need to find ways of common action. But we are also aware that at the same time the effects of global warming are not equal everywhere. The effects depend on the region, on human activity and social class. We have to give careful thought to the concept, to the principle of common but differentiated responsibility. Each country has to do its own homework. Each country has to design its policy properly. Slovenia is aware of that. We have just realized that we are lagging behind, that Slovenia has not met the standards of greenhouse gas emissions adopted at Kyoto. So we have to do more and we have to work differently. We have to develop a comprehensive environmental strategy, one which would involve such areas as energy, public transportation and traffic, urban planning, agriculture and, very importantly, taxation. We have to look at all these areas with a view to formulating a new and comprehensive strategy for the future. At the regional level, we remain our commitment to the policies of the European Union. Slovenia is a conscientious member of the European Union and we fully believe in targets suggested by the European Union for global action. And at global level, we would very much like to see the Copenhagen Conference to succeed. Copenhagen will be an important landmark. It will demonstrate that humankind is able to understand and that it is able to agree on future action to preserve environment, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and to work towards a better and changed world. So let us join the Secretary General of the United Nations in his appeal. Let's use the Copenhagen Conference to seal the deal.